my name is uh, Tawfiq Haddadi or Tawfiq Haddadi, how we say it in uh, Moroccan. I'm originally from Morocco, been here for 18 years. Uh, I live in the wonderful 757, specifically in Newport News, Virginia. I'm a part of the warehousing automation industry uh, and the sales end right now. As well, I'm as a financial professional, mainly in the life insurance and annuity industry. I've been in the corporate world for 12 years and been running my business for five years, going on six actually right now. The love of basketball and uh, the love of the, the opportunity, like they said, the U.S. is the land of the opportunity and uh, they were right about it. And uh, yeah, that's what brought me here 18 years ago. My mom, she's an accountant. She was an accountant for the government. My dad was an engineer by trade um, and he actually is in the sugar industry. Uh, got lucky. I was uh, involved in, in the military school, military academy, where I did three years there. And then uh, in high school, went back home. And uh, uh, the, the biggest difference between there and here is, number one, you have no responsibility and you don't work uh, as a teenager here. What I notice is the minute you turn 15 years, 15 and a half, you can drive. Uh, you know, it comes with, with the responsibilities and having your first job. So uh, definitely was a big transition. Uh, for me coming in here at 18. The biggest thing that we brought with us is the hospitality and I try to maintain it as much as possible. It's definitely hard with, with the social distancing right now, uh, but we're trying to do our best and, uh, you know, gather with, you know, being safe and taking the right precautions. But uh, definitely the, the gathering and the, the hospitality is what, we, what we're known for. If I would have to base it based on, you know, my, my friends who I went to school with or, uh, Definitely married with, with kids, uh, God willing, just like I am right now. I probably would have went to uh, uh, the prep school like for, for engineers a couple of years, either in Morocco or in France. And then from there, you transition to, uh, um, to an engineering school. Uh, the other option that I had was to stay in Morocco and go to the U.S., uh, like the American University there, which basically is the same approach as you go there and but uh, honestly, I would probably find a way to come here to the States one way or another. So I was, I was so obsessed with coming into the States. France was definitely an option. I mean, that's uh, probably 80% of, you know, Moroccans who go outside, you know, Morocco. I think France is definitely a good destination. Uh, I don't think I would have lived there, honestly, because I used to go there every other year. The other place that I considered going to, it was uh, the UAE, like the Emirate. Uh, so a good opportunity to... Uh, go there, make some good money, and then basically go back home. So it was, what, 2000, 2001? It was like a, a movie that came out. It was called American Pie. And I was kind of like, okay, this is this pretty much uh, the U.S. So I'm going to go there. We're going to have fun and all that good stuff. But when I came in, like money like went away real quick. And my dad supported me with school. So, I mean, I have nothing to say about that. They, they sponsored me from A to Z my, all my five and a half years in college but I had to help supplement that by, by working. So I was working two jobs uh, between 40, 60 hours a week. And uh, you still have to maintain a full-time uh, student, uh, you know, being like an F1 uh, and for, on an F1 visa. So it was definitely, I didn't, I wouldn't say that I lived the college aid life like everybody does, but it was just work, school, work, school. And um, yeah, I think I should go back to college now. <laughs> Definitely the expectation were, were, were here as far as like the, the fun, but it was more like here as far as, uh, uh, you know, got to work to make sure you, you provide for yourself. Uh, know where you're going, uh, keep an open mind, and, uh, uh, you know, basically the people here will help. So stay positive. My parents, I mean, definitely that support system. My parents, my siblings. Yeah. Came in here when I was 18, so I had nothing behind that I left. So the parent, if I would have had the ability to bring my parents and my siblings, that would have been the, you know, the icing on the cake. They say it takes a village to raise a, a child. So definitely I had probably three or four uh, people that were ahead of me from my neighborhood that definitely helped me with the, with the adjustment. Uh, definitely one gentleman is at deal. He actually owns a dealership right now uh, in Virginia Beach. He's one of my, you know, really good best friends growing up. Uh, and there was Othman, and he was my roommate. He actually went to the American University back home. When he came here, he pursued me. We didn't know each other, but he pursued me to, instead of staying in uh, on campus, to stay out of campus and have be his roommate and basically rent an apartment with him. And I think that was the best decision because it taught me really quick to be independent and how to pay bills and, and do all that good stuff. Right now, he's back home after he got his MBA. 
and he's running his family business in Casablanca and uh, doing really good for him and his family. So, other than being the best place on earth. <laughs> So what I tell people is Morocco is, it will be like your intro level uh, to the rest of the world because we, we, have, we are um, influenced by so many cultures. So you have the Muslim country, uh, basic culture or, or religion that's come from the Middle East. You have the African culture and then you have the European culture. So if you're, you know, you want to take it easy to go in, going into Africa or going to the Middle East or even going to Europe, I would say like a, having a stop in Morocco will give you like a, kind of like the flavor, uh, intro level about all these cultures. One thing that I that hit me like when I came here is like the, the, the saying that like Moroccans, we don't feel like proud of being African. We're, we're not even African. We're North Africa or, or part of Europe. But what I want to say is we're, we're African and we're as African as, as they come. Uh, and we are proud of, of being part of the, the culture. I mean, uh, the food is inspired by a lot of like the Afri other African countries, uh, the culture, the dance, the, the, the way we talk. Uh, like I said, we're, we're proud of being African. When I think about like one person, I'll probably tell people like, do your homework about the King uh, Hassan II. He passed away, I mean, back in uh, 1999, but I was a great speaker. He was a great uh, leader, politician, all, all the above. So. Uh, but then looking at today, uh, I mean, Dr. Monsef Slawi is, uh, he's originally from Morocco. I mean, he has double uh, citizenship with Belgium, but proud to say that he's Moroccan and he, had, he made his print in this uh, new COVID era, so to say. So. Africa!